Hello, this is Casey with Sprinkler Master. Um, today we're just going to go over uh, kind of a brief description on Funny Pipe, um, what it is, uh, how it's used, how it's installed, and, and how it's repaired. So pretty basic uh, pipe here that we use um, for, for most installations and a lot of repairs. Um, it's just a half inch pipe. It's extremely flexible, as you can see. It's generally used for placement of heads um, due to its flexibility and smallness. Kind of how you can see this on our, on our diagram, how, uh, how uh, you have a main feeding pipe, right, which is uh, either consistent of, consists of poly or PVC, um, and that, that's going to feed your sprinkler lines. Um, and once it goes to the destination that you want the sprinkler, you're going to do a break off. Um, and then use your funny pipe to connect it to the actual sprinkler head. Um, so that's the general purpose of why we use funny pipe. Funny pipe, um, like I said, is generally a, kind of a gateway from your main, your main pipe to your sprinkler head. Um, it's, it's pretty simply installed. Um, there's what we call uh, funny pipe adapters, uh, most commonly being a funny pipe 90. Um, which is just a, a small little uh, 90 degree uh, half inch funny pipe adapter that will allow you to screw into the head. And as you may know, um, with funny pipe 90s, uh, they have these prongs on them very similar to polyurethane pipe or poly pipe, um, where, where all you do is you just simply stick it into the pipe, kind of wiggle it in, um, you can also twist it in, which sometimes you won't have that maneuverability in a hole. Um, but once it's in, it, you really don't need any clamps or anything else. It's a very watertight seal um, that's great for maneuvering um, wherever you need to put the pipe. You generally should not make your funny pipe longer than three feet um, because you could lose pressure due to how small the pipe is kind of give you a comparison to see how small the pipe is compared to your normal one inch poly pipe. Um, you can tell that over a long distance um, obviously your your head would not get a lot enough water um, just leading to low pressure or uh, or other issues. Um, so just make sure when you do use funny pipe it shouldn't be any longer than about three feet um, depending on your pressure. Okay, so another thing that I was going to go over really briefly is um, how to connect it to the actual pipe. So this is what's known as a, a saddle is kind of the common term um, and it just clicks right onto like a, a PVC pipe um, and you can see that this is a poly saddle that actually screws into the pipe um, and that's kind of how we cut into the pipe to feed the head. Um, so you're going to put this on your pipe, right, or, or something like this. Um, and it's very simple, just like I showed you on the head, you're just going to kind of wiggle it in, right? It can be kind of tough. Um, and once you wiggle it in, then you can kind of place it better um, where you need it from the original pipe. Um, because typically you're not going to be able to trench or put the, um, the sprinkler pipe right where you need the head. Um, another great advantage of funny pipe is that it is very flexible as you can see so um, it's, a, it's very resilient to being stepped on um, or run over those kind of things it can push down into the ground most of the time um, making it a much better solution than just getting a head straight off of the pipe itself where it could crack and break because these uh, half inch fittings really are pretty brittle so um, they can break easily Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go over is repairing funny pipe. One of the most common problems is that um, they either use the wrong fitting, they don't use an actual funny pipe coupler, and I'll show you what that looks like, um, or they don't push it in far enough, and that can lead to leaking, um, your fittings blowing out, and like worst case scenario, dirt will blow into your line and, and clog the line or the head. Um, so you want to be very careful when doing a repair. Um, but as you can see on this pipe, it's got a cut in it from any number of things. Usually it's from people digging or from shovels. 
Um, but the repair is, is much like poly. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to just cut right in the middle. You want to cut all the damaged area off. And uh, if you see kind of how there's like a, a crease there, you don't want any of that. Um, so you're going to want to just cut off all the bad parts or anything that's uh, damaged so it's nice and straight. Um, and I'll do that on this one too. So you can tell it's a little damaged. Um, when, when the pipe is in the ground and you try to put a coupler in, the problem is that since both the pipes and the head are under the ground, you're not going to be able to pull the pipe generally. So that was, that's what leads to the problem of uh, people, you know, making the fitting not go all the way in. As you can see here, it'll look like that and it won't fit correctly. So it's, uh, it's good to get a, a little section of pipe. So as you can see, I got a, a little section of pipe in between to make up the distance that I cut out. Um, and then you're able to wiggle it in. You can tell it's, it's kind of hard above ground. It's also just as hard below ground. So just make sure that you get it all the way in to the point where you can no longer see any of the threads. As you can see in this pipe, there's no more threads showing. Um, and that's just a basic repair of funny pipe. Since we're on the topic of repairs, um, I did want to bring up a couple of other problems that newer sprinkler techs experience um, when dealing with funny pipe. Um, and one of the biggest things that people do is that they cut their funny pipe too short from the feeder line. So they'll cut it like about here, for example. Um, and the problem with that, I'll kind of show you a description here is, when you try to bend your funny pipe down, you'll notice it's at an angle, um, which makes it easy to pop right back up out of the ground. Um, also, it can make it so that your pipe can kink, um, which you can tell it kinks pretty easily. And, and once your pipe is kinked, um, it's very hard to, to get it to the original condition. Um, you might be able to tell, but there's a crease in there that's pretty much permanently in there. So be very careful um, when doing uh, a repair with funny pipe to make sure that your funny pipe is I would say at least a foot, a foot and a half long um, about as long as this and that you also be careful not to kink it.